Welcome back, Truth Seeker. August 12th, 2018, this morning, NASA launched Parker Solar Probe from Cape Canaveral at 3.31 a.m. local time. And I'm going to show you why this launch happened on this specific date and why at this specific time, 3.31 a.m. in the morning, again, August 12th, 2018. If you're not aware, NASA is controlled by Freemasonry. This isn't hearsay. This isn't some conspiracy theory. This is a fact. If you go to Washington, D.C. and take the tour of the Freemason headquarters in the House of the Temple, it's revealed right there. NASA has always been controlled by Freemasonry. All astronauts to travel into space have been Freemasons. And as I've been exposing for years, and as I've written a book about, every single piece of NASA's history, every launch, every accomplishment, it's all been done and reported according to this numerical code, no exceptions. This code of letters and numbers and dates on the calendar is known as gematria, which is important to masonry. So the launch time, let's just start right there, and then we'll work to the date, why August 12th? But let's start with why 3.31 in the morning. 3.31 is the 211th minute of the day. 2.11, 60 minutes per hour. So 3 times 60 is 180, plus 31 more minutes, 211. In what is known as Jewish Gematria, a very important cipher, there's a movie out there called Gematria, and this is the cipher they use in that film. The word Mason equals 211. 211 is the 47th prime number. The Freemason logo, the capital G with the compass in the square, the compass is set at 47 degrees. And as I routinely say, it's a tribute to the 47th problem of Euclid about how to establish foundation. In Gematria, foundation sums to 47. So does time. And don't forget the tropics of this earth, which measure the solstices, which measure time, are 47 degrees apart. 23.5 north, 23.5 south. The tropic in the northern hemisphere, the tropic in the southern hemisphere. So we're talking about a launch time. Why the 211th minute of the day? It's a tribute to Freemasonry. It's a tribute to the way we measure time. This probe is called the Parker Sun Probe. And in the base ciphers for English Gematria, Parker sums to 69 and 93. It's the 93 that really jumps out. They say the sun is 93 million miles away from Earth on average. Of all the planets, the only planet that has a gematria of 93 is Saturn. And notice Saturn in the base ciphers is 93 and 69, like how Parker is 69 and 93. To the ancients, Saturn was the most distant planet. It's the sixth planet from the sun, the furthest away you can see with your eye. And Saturn is associated with time as well. Saturn is the keeper of time. So think about how the sun we use to measure time in this world. Saturn also used to measure time. And here this name Parker has this fitting gematria. Parker's being launched at the sun, which on average is 93 million miles from Earth. Also in the base ciphers, there's four base ciphers, which means each word has four numerical outputs. The word Parker also has gematria of 33, like masonry, like secrecy, like federal, like order. And let's not forget that the Masonic headquarters is in Washington, D.C., named after the 33rd degree Scottish Rite Freemason. In that same cipher, the sun equals 24. Think about 24 hours in a day. In this reduction cipher, there's a special rule for S. S is the 19th letter. It's the only letter in the alphabet that you have to reduce two times to get to a single digit. In numerology, 19 is 1 plus 9 is 10, and then again, 1 plus 0 is 1. So S can be worth 10 or 1. In this cipher where the sun equals 24, S is 1. 
In this cipher, where you make S10, the sun is 33. And the word sun, S-O-N, also has gematria of 33 in the base ciphers. A lot of people will tell you the Son of God in the Bible is an analogy for the one sun in the sky. S-O-N, also the gematria of 33. So, August 12th, it's the 224th day of the year, the day leaving 141 days remaining. And when you write out 33 as a word, it has gematria of 141 in the base ciphers. What I could have also mentioned is that the divisors of 84 sum to 224. This is why you want to read my book, Letters and Numbers. A lot of patterns in history with 84 and 224, especially with the Revolutionary War. Masonry has gematria of 84. So does United States of America, 84. And there's a whole lot more to that. Again, pick up the book, Letters and Numbers. I link it in the description of every video I make. So, fitting day for the Parker, Parker probe to launch has the connection to 33, which relates to the sun, which relates to the name, again, of the probe. Further, this Parker probe was theorized in 1958, the year that NASA was officially established. July 29th, 1958, that's NASA's official establishment day. This idea was thought up by a scientist named Parker to send a probe at the sun to get these measurements that they're now doing 60 years later. And notice, today's date, August 12th, 2018, 8 plus 12 plus 20 plus 18, date with 58 numerology. In Gematria, Freemasonry equals 58. Modern Freemasonry was born out of the Rosicrucian order. Rosicrucian 58, Secret Society 58. When you take the reduction cipher and make S10, United States is 58, Washington's 58. A lot of important things are 58 that relate to Freemasonry. Freemasonry, to earn your first three levels, you have to go through the tracing boards, tracing board 58. You learn about how the secrets of Freemasonry are in Solomon's Temple, Solomon's Temple 58, and just a whole lot more. Phrases like, we the people are 58, Anuit Coeptus 58, don't tread on me 58, and a whole lot more. Again, in my book, Letters and Numbers, I give you the full 58 list. And you know what? There's actually something more that we should talk about in regards to this probe going for the sun and it being synced up with this special date on the calendar. When English was standardized as a 26-letter alphabet, it was the same time in the world the Gregorian calendar was rolling out, which we're now on. Notice that Gregorian equals 58. Calendar equals 58. Zodiac 58, the word star, Gematria 58, the sun, the nearest star, which makes life possible on earth. The plural of stars, which is the zodiac, also has Gematria 58 in the base ciphers. So what a day to launch at the star, the Parker Solar Probe. See this emphasis? This is from the BBC. BBC equals 223, like Masonic and Jewish gematria. But notice how they emphasize touch the sun. Touch the sun has gematria of 143, like Scottish Rite of Freemasonry 143. Again, it's the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry that has the shrine to NASA, which reveals that all astronauts to have been in space have been Scottish Rite Freemasons. The date NASA was established, July 29th, 1958, date with 113 numerology, Scottish gematria of 113 in the base ciphers. This launch was out of Cape Canaveral. Think about the CC initials. C is the third letter. CC3333. But Cape Canaveral is also 48 and 78 using the base ciphers. Freemasons is 48 in English and in Hebrew. Scottish Rite, 78 in the base ciphers as well. Further, with that Scottish Rite pattern, Scottish Rite 57, Outer Space 57, Conspiracy 57. 
I should note that Outer Space and Conspiracy also have Gematria 51, as does Moon, as does Mars. Think about uh, Area 51. Some people say the space landing video was faked at that location. If you never read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, movie about space, where number 42 has this big role, Freemason in Outer Space, also 42, all from the base ciphers here. So a little more information, Parker Solar Probe, just using the alphabetic order, sums to 190. They say its top speed is going to be 190 kilometers a second. 43 million kilometers, the word Masonic has Gematria, 43. Notice the um, 6.12 million kilometers, the closest it's going to come to the sun. This launch out of Cape Canaveral, you know, 612. And 1,300 degrees Celsius, 13, another very significant number to Freemasonry. Another number that relates to time, the sun and the 12 constellations, the moon and its 13 cycles, 60, number that connects to order, there's probably some greater riddle I'm overlooking, but the numbers that they report again and again over the years, when you learn this code of Gematria, you can see where they're really pulling these numbers from, you know, last year we had the Astronauts set the record in space for 666 days in space, consecutive days. NASA's full name, when you, not the acronym, but when you take what each letter stands for, their full name sums to 666 in the base ciphers. And again, if you want to use the base ciphers, just like I link my book, or you can purchase it in every blog post, I also link the Gematronator calculator. And um, here, NASA stands for, to show you how simple this is, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Plug it in, base ciphers, 666. You know, NASA has an astronaut spend... 666 days in space, and there was a whole lot more to the riddle. The day she began, the day she ended, it had a major tribute to the number 93. Again, that number that symbolizes time, which has to do with the distance of the sun, Saturn. NASA over the years pays a lot of tributes to 93, you know, so that's not uncommon to be found in their rituals. So anyhow, we'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. Until next time.